21. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife uh -huh. because she was barren. Because Rebecca couldn't get pregnant. So Isaac prayed to the Lord. Go ahead. And the Lord was entreated of him. Mm -hmm. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And the children struggled, to struggled together within her. Children, plural, more than one. Go ahead. And she said, if it be so. If it be so. If I've been blessed by God. Why am I thus? Why am I having this trouble in my bowels? Go ahead. In my and, stomach, my womb. Go ahead. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto her. And this is what the Lord said. Two nations are in thy womb. Two nations. Two na The word Genesis means what, brothers? Beginning. This is the beginning of two different nations. Read that again. And the Lord said unto her. Two nations are in thy womb, uh -huh. and two manner of people. When it says two manner of people, it means two different types of people. Go ahead. Shall be separated. Shall be what? Separated. No, assimilated. Separated. Separated. Joined. Separated. Integrated. Separated. The Bible says these two nations would be separated. Go ahead. Shall be separated from thy bowels. Uh -huh. And the one people. And the one people. Shall be stronger than the other people. Me meaning able to endure great hardships. Go ahead. And the elder. And the elder child. Shall serve the younger. Is prophesied to be a slave to the other. Now that's talking about the kingdom on earth. That's what that prophecy going with. Go ahead. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. Uh -huh. Behold. There were twins in her womb. Now, we know that they're not identical twins because it said two manner of people shall be separated, meaning two different types. So these were not identical twins. These were fraternal twins. Read. And the first came out red. The first came out red, meaning the blood showed through its skin. Go ahead. All over. All over. Like in hairy garment. Like in hairy garment. And, Go they, ahead. and they called his name Esau. And they called his name Esau. The word Esau literally means wasted away. That's what Esau means. Read. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. Go ahead. And his name was called Jacob. Go ahead. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. Wait a minute. It gave Esau's color, but it did not give Jacob's color. Because Jacob looked just like Isaac and Rebecca. Jacob looked just like all the people from Genesis chapter 2 and 7 all the way up. Everybody understand that? Everybody was melanated until this character, Esau, came on the scene. Read on. Verse 26. I'm sorry, verse 27. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter. Give me the next image of Esau was a cunning hunter. Esau grew up and became a cunning, hu cunning hunter. There you go right there. Esau became, remember it said he was red all over like a hairy garment. He was a hunter, a cunning hunter. Give me the next image of Esau. Load up. Esau was a cunning hunter. Hunter. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Come on. Esau was a cunning hunter. Was that the was there more one more? Esau was a cunning blow it up. Cunning hunter. Was that it on Esau? Okay, go read it again, Yuri. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Give me Jacob. Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Jacob was a plain man. Jacob was right there. Yep. Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Read on. And Isaac loved Esau. And Isaac loved his firstborn. Go ahead. Because he did eat of his venison. Go ahead. But Rebecca loved Jacob. Rebecca loved Jacob. Go ahead. And Jacob sawed pottage. And Jacob sawed pottage. And Esau came from the field. Mm -hmm. And he was faint. And he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. He said that same red pottage with that same red meat in it. Why same? Because the same looked like him. Everybody see that? Read. 
For I am faint. For I am faint. Hey, give me the picture. You didn't, uh, Alicia, give me the, give me, go back to the images of Jacob and Esau. Because you didn't finish the, uh, yeah, right there. Put that on the screen. Right. Because this is an example of, I, I need y'all to stay with me. So Isaac and Rebecca had two fraternal twins. They looked totally different. One was black, one was so-called Caucasian looking. Now you might say to yourself, that's impossible. Well, there was a Nigerian couple. Give me the couple. There was a Nigerian couple, and he had one black boy and one albino looking boy. This is an example that they come from us. We don't come from Caucasians. They come from us. I hope y'all understand that. I hope y'all see that. Okay. Uh, where we at, uh, Yuri? We're in verse 30 still. Go ahead. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee. Go what? back to the one with the pottage, Elisha. I need you to stay on topic with us. Read again, Yuri. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. Because Jacob was making pottage, all right? He was, he was cooking. And Esau said, feed me with that same red food you got there in that pot, go ahead. For I am faint. Because I'm faint. I'm tired. I didn't catch nothing while I was out hunting. Go ahead. Therefore was his name called Edom. Edom means red. Edom, E-D-O-M means red. Therefore was his name called Edom. So in the Bible, you will read his name as either Esau or Edom at various times. Go ahead. Was that it? Yes, this is verse 31. And Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. Mm -hmm. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? Mm -hmm. And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob.